today we're going to basically look at uh, options for single teeth and uh, multiple teeth. We're just going to go through some examples of work that we carry out at the clinic. Many patients that come to see us uh, come because they have problems with uh, either a missing tooth or multiple teeth and they're maybe complaining of a, a space and have a, maybe a denture that they're not happy with. I've got an example over here, this is what a denture looks like. It's usually quite a large volume to keep in your mouth and uh, because this is an example of an upper denture because you've got this area at the top over here it's covering the roof of the mouth so it um, affects speech it affects uh, the taste of food and people tend to find it like, difficult to speak with because it can introduce lisps and uh, without it uh, fitting snugly in the mouth it's quite difficult to actually cope with and live with. There's not really uh, a lot of uh, ways and means that we can actually keep this from moving. Implant treatment is usually an option or a solution which gives fixed teeth. They basically feel and look just like natural teeth. Here we have an example of a front tooth. Um, again, uh, having something removable for just a single front tooth is quite um, inconvenient. And here we can see an example of uh, a single tooth implant with a crown. The crown is made uh, of full porcelain. There's no metal in a crown like this, and that's for optimal aesthetics. So the tooth looks as natural and as similar to natural tooth material, tooth enamel. Once the implant's placed and it's secure, it uh, will feel and function just like a natural tooth. So, uh, and it's got the same strength and biting capacity of a natural tooth, so eating an apple or eating any foods, I mean, you wouldn't need to think any differently um, when you have an implant to having a natural tooth. I actually have a tooth and an implant myself, and it works really well on my upper left premolar. Here we have another example um, of uh, someone who's got uh, multiple missing teeth. And uh, you can see these are uh, two premolars on each side. Uh, this particular patient was wearing a, a removable denture for about four years uh, before having these teeth replaced. And um, now in, uh, in our laboratory we've actually made uh, uh, dental implants. And you can see these are basically secured on the implants on uh, either side. So. Um, Again, just freeing up the, uh, the roof of the mouth and making it easier to kind of live with rather than having something which is removable. Um, so all in all, patients are generally very happy with having something fixed in the mouth rather than something removable. And uh, hence, that's the reason why implants are so favoured by, by patients. This is just an exam example of a three-tooth bridge on implants. It's a very popular treatment. People tend to find it, uh, it works very well. Uh, so you can see this as, as an alternative, it's much smaller and it doesn't uh, take up as much space as, for example, the denture did on the inside and impede the movement of the tongue. So patients tend to find this a lot more comfortable. The biggest change from patient's perception is that because the denture is constantly removable, they're constantly reminded that something isn't right or correct in their mouth. Whereas with implants, once it's actually secured and it's screwed into position, it's actually fixed so they kind of forget that they actually have teeth missing. In this uh, type of design of restoration, um, <coughs> we refer to this as a screw retained restoration. There are some small holes which uh, provide access for a uh, tool to actually uh, tighten the, and secure the restoration on the implant. And once this is actually secured on the implants, these, we call these access holes. The access hole is actually covered with a tooth colored resin. So it then becomes indistinguishable, as we can see on these examples of the photos. That screw access is convenient for us because should we need to access the implant at any point, uh, we can open that access hole again and we can remove or retrieve the, the restoration with ease. In order to make sure that we've got the best result for, um, for example, front teeth, and making sure that we've got the tooth looking as natural and as good as possible, there are two stages that are involved. Um, in this model, you can see that there is uh, no gum tissue on the model and we use this model to actually make the tooth and make sure that it fits precisely on the implant. Okay, And uh, you, you can see in this model, we've got some uh, pink tissue over here and this pink tissue mimics the natural uh, gum tissue that we have in the mouth. So here we will make sure that this is fitting snugly around the gum and make sure that we're not putting more pressure than is uh, recommended around the gum tissue. So this is then like the final check 
before the implant is actually delivered to the patient to make sure that it's actually fitting correctly around the gum tissue and making sure that it doesn't put any pressure. So uh, essentially uh, for a treatment like this, you'd be looking at on average about six months um, treatment from start to end. The different possibilities of what can be um, uh, offered in terms of uh, options. The most common course of treatment is that patients will have a broken tooth or a missing tooth and they'll want to try and replace it with an implant as quickly and as soon as possible. So essentially we offer what's, uh, what we call as uh, teeth uh, on the same day. So patients will come in, the implant will be placed and a temporary crown will be made within a few hours after the implant is placed in our laboratory. So after surgery, uh, provided the implant is in secure bone and the bone is dense and the implant is secure, then we will take some impressions and we will actually have a tooth made the same day. But because of the trauma of the surgery and having uh, the gums are going to change and they're going to heal and the bone's going to make some changes over the next few weeks and months, uh, we refer to that crown as a temporary crown because it's made in only a few hours and uh, it doesn't have the same uh, maybe perfection in terms of colouring that a porcelain crown would have. That temporary crown is made of an acrylic uh, stroke composite material and uh, it works very well. It's very natural looking but it is a uh, temporary measure until the implant heals. And if we fast forward four, four months, once we know that the implant is actually secured in the bone and it's healed and it's been successful, then the patient will return and we will see the changes that have occurred on the gum tissue and around the bone. And when we take an impression after the healing phase, it'll be far more accurate and we will then uh, be able to make a crown that's more precise. We will have more time to uh, discuss what the crown should look like. We, we kind of use the temporary crown as almost a prototype. So we will ask the patient, are you happy with the, with the temporary crown? Uh, usually patients will say yes, but I would like it maybe a little bit lighter or it could be a bit shorter or a bit longer. And so we're already working from something that we can improve on. Unlike a denture, which is uh, being removed each day, and they do uh, wear because it's a moving part and anything that's moving and uh, that's changing um, in position will wear out. Um, with regards to implants, because they're fixed, they're a lot more stable. Uh, from a maintenance point of view, once the implant's actually completed, the implant's successful, the tissue's, uh, the tissue's happy that uh, the crown's fitting well, then uh, usually we will um, advise patients to come back for a review within 12 months. And uh, once the implant's completed, it's essentially um, a tooth just like any other tooth that you would floss and brush normally. Um, you wouldn't treat it any differently to one of your natural teeth um, because essentially it is just like a natural tooth. So uh, patients often come and see us from maybe other dental practices where uh, the dentist doesn't carry out implants. Um, and our instructions to them are, you know, once we know that the implant's fine, they can go back to the care of the dentist and just continue as normal. They don't need to follow any particular different regime or need to come and see us just for a checkup, just for the implant. We've been placing implants since uh, 2003 and um, all the implants that we've placed since 2003 are still in function. So you know, we do see patients that have had implants in the mid 80s, uh, early 90s that have been placed in other practices in other countries and uh, they really can last for, for many, many years, uh, in my opinion, even sometimes you know, for life, or well, in many cases for life. Mm -hmm.